Hey there guys, it is Brave here. Or, oh Brave One. Or Brave PvP. Or even Jordan, which is most likely what you can call me now. Because if you couldn't tell by the title, somehow... Um... Yes, I do believe it is my time to quit. And it's not that... Hold on. It, it's, it's not that, like, it's your guy's fault or anything like that, that I'm doing this. In fact, if I had to be honest, my YouTube fanbase, the Brave PvP fanbase at that, is one of the only reasons that I've stuck around for as long as I have. And as a matter of fact, hold on, I have like an entire notepad of stuff to say. This is not going to be a short video, so go ahead and get some popcorn. Um, you know, maybe even a nice little drink. And you, you never know. Stick around. But I have a lot of stuff to say. And I'll have even more to say by the end of the video, as you will find out. But either way. Um, yeah, I just really cannot... I'm getting so many texts. I cannot thank you guys enough for the amount of support that I have been given by you guys constantly for almost two years now. And if we think back to when I really started YouTube, it was way back in March during my freshman year, March 2013. And that was a very, very bad time in my life, if I had to be honest, guys. Although, I kind of made it that way or one way or another. But really, it was Minecraft that made it that way. Because I was just enjoying playing on Cash SOTF so much. That's when I, like, I guess you could say I actually started YouTube. But I didn't start taking it seriously until August 2013, when I started my AG series. And ever since then, I have just been having the absolute time of my life in real life and in game. And you guys have, like... You've made me a really happier person overall. Sophomore year was amazing, junior year was amazing, and senior year is going to be amazing. And it's thanks to thanks to the slump that you guys have pretty much gotten me out of with your nonstop support, the f positive feedback on everything that I would do, and then, of course, the occasional haters. But anyway, guys, it's not just the fact that you helped me get through a slump in my life. You also, obviously, um, as I've said multiple times, you guys have inspired me to do so many things with my voice and it's it's not like it's just you guys that are saying it now it's absolutely everyone the things that I've learned how to do with my voice the commentaries I can do the voices I can do how below I can make it everything like that that's that's what I've become known for now and I'm I'm really thankful for that I I can't say it enough I've really found what I can do with myself in life and saying how like that's what I'm known for I guess you could say that I'm known for that on Minecraft really too because in one way or another I've left a legacy if you think about it I've left not only the legacy of owning the vast servers the vast network as it's as long as it's been up ever since October 2013 we started with just a small little gapel server and now we are at this big giant castle of just endless possibilities in this random guy running around spawn look at him go um so all that has just happened, and it wouldn't be possible without you guys. But then on top of that, you also have to kind of think, it's just what I've chosen to do. It's what I've chosen to be known to do. And then, of course, there's the the fact that, I, obviously, my voice uh, around the Minecraft community, it is very known. If you think of Oh Brave, you think of, hey, isn't that that kangaroo? Hey, isn't that the amazing gavel player? Hey, isn't that the guy with the voice? That's just what I hear nonstop. And that is inspiring in every single way for me. So now you may be thinking, Brave, if all these things are going so great for you, why are you quitting? Well, guys, it's quite simple. So, first, um, the generic reason, school starting up. Oh, no, yeah, obviously, everyone says that. But yeah, it's kind of true, like, it's my senior year, I need to focus, I need to, like, kindly kind of belt down on absolutely everything, make sure I do get into a good school, make sure that... Um, nothing's really in my way as far as the schoolwork goes. Then obviously comes a social life and the fact that I have multiple, um, well, if I had to say it, multiple things that I could do that involve acting and theater work. That's not what I want to do with my life. That, I, that's probably not what I'm going to do anyway. I really want to, I guess I can tell you guys now if I haven't already told you. I really want to go and... You, you know the NBC News? Yeah, I want to be the guy in the NBC Nightly News. I want to take over for that one day. And I'm not sure if I can get there, but I'll I'll work for it. I'll work towards it, I should say. And that's all I can say for myself. Now, there's also other things we have to think of and say, like, 
well, Brave, surely IRL stuff can't just be the only thing getting in the way. What are, what's that? What else? What else? Well, there's also, like, one other thing that happened that really, really, really made me sad. I guess you can say sad, mad, along those lines. But I'm not going to say what it is. If you are a really good friend of mine, you will most likely know what it is. And no, it's not in real life either. However, there is one final fact that I would just like to go over. And that is the fact that there's just way too many cheaters nowadays. Way, way too many cheaters. They're absolutely everywhere. The spooky Casper, or the self-destruct. I've, I've seen all these clients just coming out non-stop, and I try screen sharing people on my server. And I just know it's it's pointless at this point. I, I can't keep up with the amount of cheating that's going on, and how basically everything has to be done by screen share now. And even that won't be possible soon. It really won't. It's just sad that... Cheaters have really won. They've won the game, in a way. Um, now, I must also get into the topic of the account G-Cheater. A lot of you have been asking me, Brave, you couldn't have done that G-Cheater thing legit. You couldn't have gotten 430 kills, 6 deaths in the Gappa Ladder legit. You couldn't have gotten 2300-04 ELO legit. The highest Gapple ELO of all time. And you know what my response to that is? You're wrong! I did! That is completely legit. Everything that I did on the G-Cheater account is completely legit. Um, it's also been managed by other people, but the Gappa Ladder was completely done by me, and anyone that's ever had access to the G-Cheater account was told not to touch the Gappa Ladder, because only I knew how to do that. And so that's my message to you, cheaters. If you can, if I can go and do that legitimately on Bad Lion, a server where there's actually like a couple cheaters, not as many because G-Cheat's actually pretty good, but if you can, if I can go do that on that type of server and that com type of competitive environment and why can't you why can't you just go play legit I don't get it now of course you guys may also be asking but brave didn't you get banned for auto clicker two times on bad line yes and I'll explain both of them so the one that was most recent if you didn't read the appeal um, I was on a call with uh, my good well I was on a call with brandy Doritos girl and, you know, we were fooling around in the MCSG ladder, and I dueled her, and then I ran up to her with a fishing rod and say, Brandy, is this allow? And then here, like, I'll say exactly as I said it. Here, I'm walking along, you hear her giggling in the background, I'm like, hey Brandy, is this allowed? And then I start spamming that at 500 CPS, like that is. It's probably spamming the anti-cheat right now, but my chat's off so you can't see it. But... As soon as I did that for more than a second, I was instantly banned, and I just started dying of laughter. Thank God that, um, an admin actually did unban me. Thank you, Ginny1, for having me my back there. Now, the other one. I've wanted to talk about this for a very long time, but I didn't want to make a standalone video about it. <laughs> so, um, when I was banned for auto-clicking in December, you know, like, the around the Judgment Day period, and I confessed to it. That is because I was auto-clicking. Now, you may be wondering, Brave, why were, why were you auto-clicking? You PvP completely fine now, and you don't auto-click anymore. Well, that's true, guys. I don't auto-click anymore. And, in a sense, if you really want to know why I did it back then... Here, I'll give, you a, I'll give you a hint. Go look at my Frosty Factions videos during the summer. Yeah, especially during the summer of 2014. Go look at those videos, and look at me refilling my soup. That is, like, inhumanly possible, how fast I refill my soup. It's probably not inhumanly possible. People actually probably do do it. But I could never really figure out a way to quickly refill. So I would always just be, like, refilling that way. And I think that's what the GG picked me up for. And also, I would click over the auto-clicker at times, but only against, like, good people. Like, uh... Who's notable? Um, I think I used it against Winter, Winter's Chill once. Anyway, that's all in the past. Like, I'm, and by past, I do mean long, long time ago. Like, probably last spring. But, yeah, that's the reason... Basically, it was just because I was having a lot of trouble refilling. So, anyway, I should probably uh, get into some closing statements, or I'd like it to be closing statements. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, so this is the next part. I want to get into thanking some people. Now, there's six people that I'm going to name. I would have named another person, but uh, that is one of the, uh, the main causes of my departure, to some might say. Not one of the main causes, it's a cause, alright, but, um, and I, I would say its name, but I prefer not to right now. But hey there, Tech Man, how you doing? Um, so, 
the first thing I want to say is that I've also like helped out uh, quite a few of my fans personally, and they've become good friends with me over the time that I've been doing YouTube. And you know, like these fans are like kind of younger. I'm not gonna say their names, but you know exactly who you are, and you know what I've helped you with. And I want to say that you've made me feel good overall without helping you. If uh, you know, you help me, I help you, kind of, right? Yeah, you help me by supporting me, obviously. Anyway, so yeah, I did that, and then I have to thank these six people in particular. The first one, and by the way, this is in no order. I bet you all can already guess. Come on, it's Dr. Urson. That's right, so I'm gonna, by, by the way, I'm gonna be speaking personally to every person that I talk to in this video, so. Urson, you are probably watching this right now, because you've even told me when you go on YouTube, like, I'm one of the only channels that you actually do watch. And even after you did end up quitting Minecraft, you continued to stick to that statement, and that just made me so happy. So, really? Um, if I, if I could have met, if I could have met you IRL, I would have done it so long ago. Honestly, um, even during, especially during my freshman year, I would look forward to nothing more than coming home and getting to talk to you, because that was one of the highlights at my highlights at that time. Really, just getting to talk to you. You're, you are truly a one-of-a-kind friend to anyone out there, and especially to me. And I will never be able to pay you back for all the things that you've done for me. And I don't think I've ever done enough for you. Besides giving you Cohen around my server. But I didn't even pay you. Yeah, that's a fact, guys. I didn't even pay him. He did everything for me out of pure friendship. And Urson's just awesome like that. So thank you, Urson. And, uh... Stay smelly. Now, next up we have the one. The only. Oh, you guys probably know I am thinking this person. You don't know everything. But... Archibot. That's right, the owner of Bad Lion himself, Archibot. Now, if you don't know, like, the the true main reason why I'm thanking him, well, it's not even, like, one of the main reasons, just, it, it's a compilation of reasons, but the one that I publicly revealed is that Archie, a couple nights, uh, uh, no, one night during this summer, I told you all how, like, I had heart surgery, and then a couple days after that, I was having quite a few problems with my heart beating, and my entire, like, body would shake to it and it got to the point where I couldn't sleep I could barely like breathe and I was talking to Archie on Skype at the time and he kept telling me go tell your parents go tell your parents and I was like I don't want to because they might get mad they don't want to be woken up and it was like 3 30 at night and he's like go tell them right now and he wouldn't stop telling me to so I eventually did and I found out after they ended up like reconfiguring some stuff that if he didn't help me with uh that if I didn't go that night I would have had something known as diaphragmic failure, which basically means that my voice would have been heavily affected. In fact, for the next few days, my high, my voice was a lot higher than normal. Obviously, it's uh, quite low right now, so you guys can see the difference. But it was higher than this, which was scary. And if I had kept going any longer, then I may not have had a voice at all, and it could have gotten a lot worse. My lungs would have been affected, and pretty much gave out. And you have you all obviously know what that means. So, I can ne I'm never going to be able to repay Archie for that. It's that simple, pretty much. It is literally that simple. I will never be able to repay Archie for what he did there. And then, um, he also has done a couple of other things for me over the summer, helping me out with a couple of different things. And he even gave me a, a... He was the true one to hire me on Bad Lion all the way back then. And if he didn't hire me, even if he looked at my punishment list and saw all the times that I said easy, if he didn't do that, who knows? I may not have been friends with him, and I don't know where I'd be. But thank you, Archie. Now the next name. Oh, this one's short and simple, because you guys may not know him, but... Uh, Apocalyptic117, or APOC, as you guys... If you guys do know him, then you know APOC. APOC is the funniest person that I have ever met on the internet, by far. Um... <laughs> Literally, there has not been probably a single time where I've talked to him that I wasn't just dying laughing. He is like, he, like, he's the type of friend that you really, really wish you had in real life that you could just goof around with nonstop, and you could just like, he, like he really doesn't care about anything or anyone. He he's just there to have fun, and that's why Apox on my list because, yeah, and he's not only that he's really if you get him to be he's really down to earth when it comes down to it too. Why is, like, no one on my server right now? It's not even that late right now. <laughs> but, anyway, yeah. Thank you for that, APOC. Thank you for being an epic fedora milady memester. Now, next up, we have... Oh, that's right. 
now we have better sprint. I suppose I can talk to better sprint again. Better sprint, we have had quite a few arguments over the past uh, few days, I want to say. And has it been a huge factor in me quitting? No, because we like we get out of them too easily. We have way too much in common when it comes to Minecraft. That's why I can't stay mad at you and you can't stay mad at me. It's almost like a scientific experiment gone wrong. But I have never agreed with uh, someone on so many different things so often. And so I thank you for that better sprint. And uh, also thank you for supporting the vanilla ladder as long as you have. A kangaroo like me needs a block hitter every now and again to take him down. Now guys, the next name you guys may not like as much, but unfortunately I do, so deal with it. Oh, hi Gravel. Anyway, um, Suitcase. So yeah, I know, not a lot of you like Suitcase at all, but Suitcase, uh, you know, he he's one of the most logical people I have ever met in my entire life. Everything he does has a purpose behind it. Everything. And it's, it's just so, he's a very, like, interesting person. And he just seems so calm, collected about everything, and he knows how to resolve so many different things, and that's why when he goes to go try to get staff on a server, he gets it, because he's just, he's, he's so logical, and I really would not mind just chilling with uh, Suitcase IRL. I wouldn't mind that any day. Suitcase is awesome if you guys actually talk to him and get to know him. And he was one of the only admins that liked me towards the... Uh, when I got demoted on Koei. Oh yeah, by the way guys, if you want to know why I got demoted, so basically there was this kid named Escat on Koei, and <laughs> he false banned so many people, and he was like 19 years old, and he had like a lot of emotional problems, so, um, I, I made a YouTube comment about him like false banning people, and then he came on my server and started uh, spamming KYS, so I banned him, and then while I was on a TeamSpeak support channel with Fazeen, or True, you guys may not know him, um, he storms in while we're helping someone and starts screaming and crying. I wish I was kidding, guys. This actually happened. I was in shock, so I immediately went to Immortal Siege about it. And he said that he wasn't pleased with, like, the comment that I... The YouTube comment that I made. But, um... So they demoted him, but then they demoted me the next day. For pretty much the reasons of, like, targeting him. I don't care, though. I took down a bad mod with me. Win-win situation, in a way. Alright guys, now for the last name. This one's a real throwback. The Cubica, or QB or Holly, whatever you want to call her. That's right, QB's a great friend of mine. And, um, I don't know, we don't talk, we definitely don't talk as much as we did anymore. But I'd call QB after school, like, while I was driving home. And we would just, like, talk and talk and talk. And really, I think we, talk, we stopped talking around the time that, uh, she started having her standardized exams and she started to try really hard on those and yeah then all that happened but anyway um QB would do a lot of things for me she would always try to get me extra benefits on AG she would she was the one that was going to be pushing my mod app to get forward and I gotta thank her for that and she also built a few things on Vest I can't exactly say which ones but yeah she helped so thank QB for that alright guys we're getting into the uh we're getting to the end here um, I guess I should also tell you guys that I will be leaving my videos unlisted until Saturday, September 5th. Why Saturday, September 5th? Or no, sorry, I won't be leaving them unlisted. I will be leaving them public until Saturday, September 5th, so you have to go and like them. And then on Saturday, September 5th, I will be unlisting all of them. Which means, if you want to still watch a video of mine, go like it. Go like it right now, because it's not going to be made public ever again. Unless I somehow come back, which I, I don't, I can truly, truly say I really, I am just so done. That is why I'm leaving, obviously. So, yeah, just go like the videos that you want to see again, because they'll be made unlisted in a week or so, you know. I will still upload on my Smash channel. Uh, my Smash channel is Obrave One. I'll be leaving that in the description. And there's also one final thing that I need to tell you all. And it's going to be a fun thing, I promise you. So, remember, on Saturday, September 5th, not only my, will my videos become unlisted, but I will be having one final roast stream. And what I mean by that is, at some time during Saturday, September 5th, there will be a video posted on my channel, and I will be having a very long live stream where I am just going to absolutely trash anyone and everyone, except for those six people on my list. I will be trashing anyone that you guys ask me to. Anyone. 
unless I really don't deem that I should, but seriously, I can just name, I can whip off so many members of this community right now, and I really won't care anymore, and it'll be great, because, you know, I, I won't have a reputation to care about anymore, but I'll, I'll trash anyone, seriously, I have so many things that I can go say, so it, it'll be a fun day Saturday, trust me, so, uh, go ahead and tune in on that day. So, for the last time, guys, I just do want to say also that Vast PvP will remain open until I deem that it should close again, which I don't think I'm going to, personally. I don't think I'm going to deem that it should close. Um, but yeah, this will be the only thing that I pretty much do on Minecraft anymore, is come on and manage the server. So, with that being said, guys, let's end this the way it started. Let's hop right up on this button. Can't even see the full Vast sign. We'll say 4.0. Alright, so... Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to leave a like. If I even have ratings enabled, I probably won't. Because I've said some edgy material, I think. Have I said edgy material? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, thank you guys for watching, supporting the channel for two years now. And I will never be able to really uh, repay you. Actually, yeah, I will. I got you to watch my videos. Those things are pretty cool. Alright guys, with all that being said... Make sure to tune into the live stream on Saturday, and I'll be seeing you on a future video.